You're listening to Sound of Gaming on BBC Radio 3 and BBC Sounds with me, Louise Blaine, and music for the many worlds of action-adventure games. This is part of Nathan McCree's score for Tomb Raider. The overture to a vast and thrilling journey that will take us over the Himalayas, through threatening rainforest and across parched desert. We're on a quest for lost artefacts and hidden treasure. OK, there's melancholy in Lara Croft's simple four-note theme. It's wistful, reflective, but then the sprawling worlds of action-adventure games are more than big enough to absorb introspection, to contemplate the emotional story as well. Huge realms, grand storylines, you need to plan. There's lots to think about, puzzles to solve, enemies to overcome, and each new world is entirely unique, dependent on its soundtrack to familiarise you with your new home. Join me on a journey through the limitless possibilities of the action-adventure genre. Don't worry, I've got the map and it would be dangerous to go alone. It's time to re-enter the world of Tomb Raider and the first lady of action-adventure, Lara Croft, for our concert hall moment. This is where we mark the way in which orchestral arrangements and live music bring us even closer to our favourite game soundtracks. With no budget for a real-life orchestra for the first three games in the Tomb Raider series, composer Nathan McCree had to make do with a synthesised score, but he always dreamed of fuller, richer textures to bring the perilous adventures of Lara to life. That dream reached fruition in 2016 with the Tomb Raider Suite and the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra. Enjoy this as you take to the snow on Tomb Raider 2's unpredictable skidoo.
The Skidoo from Nathan McCree's The Tomb Raider Suite, performed by the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra, conducted by Robert Ziegler.